the Karate Kid 2010 Ultimate Karate before Bruce Lee brought karate to the masses through his kung fu films in the 70s, there was Fumio Dimura. Sensei Dimura's amazing martial arts skills had long been chronicled by fans of the sport and Hollywood's action star elite, including Lee, Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal, Wesley Snipes, and even Hilary Swank, who have all learned karate under the master. Dimmer's name might not be as well recognized as Lee's, but Irvine International Film Festival director and filmmaker Kevin Derrick hopes to change that with the premiere of his documentary The Real Miyagi that screens today as part of the weekend-long celebration in honor of Dimmer's 50th anniversary of teaching in the United States. For fans of martial arts, Dimmer is a legend. For the uninitiated, Dimmer is more than a karate teacher, he is the ultimate karate master, earning not one but two places in the Black Belt Hall of Fame, literally writing the book on karate, several, actually. He gained prominence for his early demonstrations of armed and unarmed combat all over the world, years after arriving in Santa Ana in 65, with only $300 and the clothes on his back, according to the film. But as better as Dimmer is, he's faced his share of struggles, language barriers, culture shock and racism among them. Post-war America was still reeling with anti-Japanese distrust in the 60s, so it wasn't uncommon for a student of Dingra's to ask for his money back because of their parents' prejudices. Still, Derrick's film presents a humble and dedicated teacher who rose above those challenges, and inspired students with his magnanimous spirit. Longtime friend Pat Morita based his character Mr. Yagi off of Dingra for the 1984 film The Karate Kid, from Dimmer's approach to teaching to his mannerisms, earning him an Academy Award nomination for the role. Dimmer also acted as stunt double for Morita in the film. The two maintained a close, brotherly friendship until Morita's passing in 2005. This weekend marks the 50th anniversary of Shihan Dingra's teaching in the United States.